Hi, welcome to Witch Peace Craft with Judy. This is, today's video is a bit of an update on my week that was. Um, I am a little late, but that's how things go. So, welcome to all those new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying my yarny content and my yarn adventures. So, the week that was. Well, besides Saxon's birthday, our little puppy, on Saturday it was Reeves's birthday. And normally I buy a cake um, from Cheesecake Shop or somewhere because I'm always too busy working. But he actually put in a request for me to make a Mississippi mud cake. Something he had seen on a cooking show. We'd seen together actually. We were watching the Hairy Bikers do Route 66 and they did a Mississippi mud cake and he wanted me to do it. And yes, I made it. And believe it or not, it turned out really well. I don't like the taste of it. Far too much chocolate for me, but here and thing like it. So that was the main thing. We went out to a Japanese restaurant, his favorite little Japanese restaurant and had like a dinner. We didn't stay out late because Sunday was my first markets for the year and I had my charity stall for Emma. It was hot, extremely hot, just like December. It had been cool all week and then suddenly on Sunday it, the heat and humidity went through the roof. Now it's school holidays and last April I had a really um, terrific month. Well, not this April. Um, they weren't the worst sales I've ever had, but they weren't very good. And the ladies next to me said the same thing. Lots of people looking, but no one really parting with their money. And we put that down to cost of living has gone through the roof here. I mean, um, the petrol price has come down uh, after the government alleviated some of the um, excise tax. But prior to that, it was up to about $2.11 a litre for us. And meat's extremely expensive and because of the flooding vegetables are extreme so yes we sort of put it down to that people are watching their pennies until the cost of living sort of either comes down or levels out to a more acceptable level so sales weren't great however I made a little bit of money that'll go towards Emma's quest Emma is current uh, currently in Sydney I think she comes home soon having intense physiotherapy on her hips. The surgery last year doesn't seem to have gone well. And hopefully we get some better news when she comes back. Um, I've seen some of the photos. Apparently it's extremely painful physiotherapy and it exhausts her. She just wants to lay in bed and watch her iPad when it's all finished. So hopefully it's worth it and it's worth the effort of them going to Sydney. Anyway, I did do quite a few tea cozies prior, finished them off prior for the markets. I didn't sell as many tea cozies and I didn't sell any of the new ones I've made, but I'll show you. So I made the Emily tea cozy. This one is um, great in the sense, and it's really popular. I haven't made one for ages. I'll just open it. Um, it's a paid for pattern I found on Ravelry. I'll put links to all the patterns in the description below but as you can see it opens right up and you sit your teapot in it it doesn't have a bottom like some people thought it might have a coaster bottom no it doesn't you knit four pieces you sew them together and you put buttons on I used um, Spotlight USA yarn because it's perfect for this tea cozy I quite like it it's like um, seed stitch and then some cable on the top but that was one i finished for the markets um i then made i did like the folded knitting for um setter's calendar cowl for march and i did like the rolling hills and i really like doing that so i made another one a smaller one in these colors this is the leftover yarn from my mixed tape cowl the bits and pieces so that's cocoon yarn it's really soft it turned out really well I do like this lots of people looked at them but I think I made these a little bit more expensive because I thought I could get a bit more for them but people weren't spending the money another one that's popular is my little 
cakey type one that I made in leftover yarn from a project, this one. And this is like a one to two cup pot. So yeah, I had a variety of tea cozies to finish. I've always got heaps on the go. How many have I got on the go still? And probably about four on the go at the moment um, for different reasons. But yeah, I have like a separate whip stash of tea cozies. Like I sell tea cozies and tea towel toppers. I've got to do more of those. I did. I didn't have a lot, but I did sell out. Um, and the other thing that surprised me was I did actually sell some of my little amigurumi toys that I decided to put on the table and, and um, put at a reasonable price. And mother bought one of each for her um, son and daughter. And a few of the others were looking at them, but no one was parting me with the money. And our federal government announced the election will be on the 21st of May. So, of course, all our politicians, local politicians, were being seen and noticed at the markets and getting the word out there that they're up again. Um, I had one guy come to the stall and I said, I don't do politics. It's a political neutral stall. Please go away. Um, he seemed offended, but I don't. I'm there to raise money for Emma and I don't want to get involved in the politics of the country. I have my opinions and I generally only share them with family. So the other thing I got today, and it's probably a little late, is I got some Happy Mail. Now, because of the flooding down south and most of the international mail comes via either Sydney or Perth over in Western Australia, it can either arrive really on time or a bit late. And I got two cards from my friend Barbara. Hi, Barbara. I got the first one with a beautiful beach sunset. Look at that. She lives on a boat. I won't read the sentiments inside, but it certainly lift my spirits today. I got that one. And I also got an, um, life's sweetest best wishes for celebrating your anniversary. Because if you remember, 26th of March was um, Things and I anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've been together a long time. So I got some lovely happy mail from Barbara. Both the cards were from Barbara. Um, what else have I been up to? Well, not a lot. Work's still busy. Um, and I'm planning on finishing some of the cows that I'm in for this month. Uh, my Nan's Next Knots. I'll show you an update in another video. Um, I'm working on an uh, Amigurumi for Amigurumi Wars. I'm doing tea cozies. I've always got crafting on the go. So what's on your hook or your knitting needles? I seem to be doing a lot more knitting lately, but that's, I think, because my hands got sore from crocheting. But yeah, what are you guys up to? What are you making? And how's things been your way? It, um, is the cost of living expensive where you are? We hear that overseas it's really quite high. I spoke to my eldest son on Sunday in... Um, on WhatsApp and he was saying heating and electricity is just through the roof. He's dreading his next bill. Um, and yeah, that's London. I guess things are expensive all over the world because the invasion of Ukraine has just caused a massive crisis of oil and gas and other things. And plus, we've had flooding just to top it all off. <laughs> but that's life, I say. That's life. You just got to get on with it and you've got to adapt. And let's not forget, years and years ago, some of our grandparents and parents, depending on how old you are, went through the depression and it was a lot worse then. So that's it, guys. I really don't have a lot to talk about. I, The market's just exhausted me. I've dragged myself around work all day. I actually left half an hour early. And I'm cooking something really simple for dinner. We're having Asian chicken wings and Asian coleslaw and some wedges. It's most unlike me to do something like that midweek or Mondays. But that's how it goes. I have to lighten my load. I'm sure the boys will clean up for me later. Um, we did. I did manage, for those who are doing Rock 2022 AU and looking at the album covers, for Reeves's birthday, besides a big present we got him that I won't talk about, I, we did get him a little, a few presents that he needed to unwrap on the day. Oh, I think you should have a little present to open up. 
try and wrap on the day, I managed to go into the second-hand record, vinyl record shop in town, and I got him a vinyl record of Motley Crue in good condition and three Iron Maiden vinyl records in good condition. Um, the, the guy there just laughs. And I do, he puts them in a really nice big ba paper bag, like this brown paper bag with his logo on it. And I took eight back and he goes, you've been spending a lot here lately. And I went, no, it's the sun. He's been here. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you are going to have a great week ahead of you. Let me know what's on your hook. Give me some inspiration. I came away from the markets with just about every second woman asking me if I had crocheted bikinis because the daughters want crocheted bikinis and Reeves tells me they're coming back into fashion and they're really popular. So if I do May markets, maybe I'll make a couple of bikinis and see how I go. Until next time, stay safe, take care, stay well. And remember, you can try making a knitted tea cozy with me. Bye for now.